Yo! It's moving! The filling is moving! All filling with so much care is underneath it! What's up everyone? My name is Dr. Mo and I'm a dentist. A lot of people ask me, can silver fillings be replaced by composite or tooth colored fillings? Let's watch this video of changing this old filling to a new and beautiful tooth colored filling. So as you can see here, the operator is assessing that old uh, filling, it is mobile, looks very old, looks very huge, and looks like also that there is decay underneath uh, that filling, and as you can see, there's a metal screw-like also in there, uh, this silver filling is called amalgam, and with amalgam sometimes they use uh, screws. Uh, 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 with the amalgam, which is very interesting. By the way, in our clinic, we don't practice silver fillings anymore. Uh, no, I know that a lot of people are with or against, whatever, but uh, we do composite fillings. They have advanced enough, but this looks really bad. Of course, it has been probably a very long time uh, since this person had this uh, a filling dentist is assessing uh, the area. Uh, they will start with the procedure pretty soon. I'll fast forward it a bit for the viewers. Oh, look at all of that uh, dental caries. And what well, the operator here is using, we call it as a spoon excavator. Why? Because it's spoon shaped and it's gradually moving, removing all of that uh, rotten decay. Oh, look at all of that decay coming out. Oh my God, that is a whole ton of decay. Uh, there's a challenge here with this uh, filling as well that um, it is very near to the gum line. Uh, if this gum line or the gum gets uh, touched or, or hit uh, by mistake in any way, that may cause bleeding, which may complicate the procedure uh, from an isolation perspective, meaning isolating the tooth from moisture and other things. So the operator here uh, is retracting, uh, I guess with a mirror, it's not very clear, and they're using a burr to uh, start drilling on uh, that uh, uh, tooth. And as I said, as you can see, it's very near the gum line already. Looks like there's a small, very light uh, bleeding there. The operator continues to uh, try and, and clean uh, that cavity from all the decay, from all the uh, rot, um, that was on it and you can see it does look like a very huge uh, cavity uh, the surface we chew on that's the occlusal surface extending into the buccal surface um, and it's not very clear where this uh, tooth uh, is uh, located but looks like a, a molar very extensive uh, cavity to be fully honest with you uh, in this case sometimes the dentist or the operator may remove uh, the filling oh, oh we also have a, another uh, uh, cavity discovered proximally of course prior to a procedure uh, like this the operator may take a dental x-ray in order to assess and uh, examine uh, the uh, tooth condition if there is proximal meaning uh, decay proximal as in this is called the proximal uh, surface uh, in the sides in between the teeth uh, and looks like the operator is drilling uh, there moving more of that uh, decay so a lot of people think why should they clean in between the teeth or floss well because de uh, the decay the dental decay can also happen in those uh, areas so it's not only in the area that you chew on or the areas that are visible but even some uh, difficult to find areas such as uh, here there can be decay as well um, looks like they removed uh, that silver, silver filling and uh, they're continuing to uh, remove the remaining uh, caries. Uh, they're using a handpiece and burr uh, to continue drilling all the remaining uh, decay and even some, I guess, stains <laughs> Uh, that are there. The operator continues to drill. Again, as I said, there's pretty huge uh, cavity, to be fully honest uh, with you. They're working on, uh, this is the buccal uh, surface, and also there's the occlusal surface, that is the tongue, so the surface facing it, that's the lingual uh, surface, and um, you can notice that the 
operator is trying to be very delicate and uh, uh, careful as to uh, how they drill the uh, tooth. They don't press too much. They're being very, very careful. Uh, also, with regard to isolation, uh, they're not really using a rubber dam here. Uh, um, uh, so, of course, uh, it would be a good idea to, to use a uh, rubber dam. Um, they are right now looking at the uh, cavity and reassessing the situation. Uh, if you notice, there's also this cord here that is inserted into the gum line. And that's called the retraction cord. A retraction cord inserted into the uh, gums is to help retract the gums, right? It's called the retraction cord uh, so that the dentist will prevent harming the tooth and serves other functions to make also the pr procedure uh, honestly easier uh, uh, to do and to uh, try to reduce the risk uh, damage uh, of damaging the gums. Uh, because as you can see, the gums can very easily bleed and the reasons uh, the reason that the gums can very easily bleed is that uh, it's uh, very well supplied like with rega regard to blood supply. Uh, in fact, the uh, gums have that uh, reddish color uh, for a lot of people. It's be because of, uh, largely because of that uh, blood supply. It looks like they're gradually right now starting to insert the restorative material and as you can see with regard to the restorative material they're working on uh, the deepest area uh, at first and they would gradually progress into uh, the rest the deepest area because there these are the areas that are most prone to any uh, sensitivity in the future so we need to uh, work on them uh, very well looks like they're uh, applying a bond or, or a primer. I'm not too sure which uh, system they're used because there are different uh, systems for uh, composite. I assume they're going to be uh, placing composite at the end. Let's watch and, and see. Uh, so they filled the deepest uh, areas and then I guess this is to place the restorative material. Looks like uh, composite. They're gradually placing the restorative material and adjusting when necessary. Okay, so they're adjusting the uh, fillings margins uh, on the uh, outside using a burr as well. Uh, look at how the tongue may get uh, covered from all the materials and things. So that's why I was saying uh, rubber dam would be a good idea. Look at the how the gums also get a bit uh, reddish if they're uh, touched uh, by mistake or something. Or sometimes even from the pressure of the of that. Uh, okay, so I guess that's the final filling. They're adjusting and refining that uh, fi final filling. Uh, looks good. And this is after adjustments. As you can see, we have certain marks uh, because they would use an articulating paper. And oh, look at how they remove the retraction cord because I play this removing the uh, retraction cord look at how the gums may bleed uh, afterwards because the gums were retracted and uh, pressured okay that's all for today thank you everyone for watching don't forget to like subscribe you'll find a lot of videos like this in my channel Dr. Mo Dentist out